bit of a hypochondriac. So uh, knowing that, I like to, I think it's easier to prevent illness than cure illness. And I understand how hard it is for a lot of people to change habits and change lifestyle. So utilizing my entire background, both as an entrepreneur and in law school, I did some analytical research, kind of looked at the industry, interviewed a lot of my friends and, and non-friends and understood what's going on in the food space and, and kind of came up with the four main excuses why people don't eat healthy. Um, mm-hmm. And the reason we don't eat healthy is either it costs too much to eat healthy, it doesn't fill you up, it doesn't taste good, or it's not accessible. And those are the reasons we choose a fast food, fast and fried option most of the time. But if you give someone the opportunity to eat something that tastes good for them and they know it's healthy, they're going to choose that if it's affordable and accessible almost every single time. So how can we essentially disrupt the fast food quick serve market in a different way? Because there's a lot of like vegan and healthy oriented food establishments, but I I don't know that they've made themselves available to everybody Mm -hmm. because that's intimidating to someone who's not already in that world. And you want to be accessible. You want to be friendly. So Everbowl was created. Um, it's called it's Everbowl, and our tagline is made from stuff that's been around forever. And our goal is essentially to provide craft superfood bowls. And today we specialize in four main base ingredients: acai, cataya, graviola, and acerola, which are four superfoods found throughout the world. And when you come in, you get to pick what and customize them however you'd like. Load them up with unlimited toppings of your choice, for all for one price. And we give you a massive 24 ounce bowl, which is bigger than pretty much everyone else gives you for the same price point. And so knowing that those are the four reasons why we don't eat healthy, I, I wanted to create a business around it. Yeah. So uh, and looking at, and looking at, oh, sorry. Yeah. I just, I, I don't want to get too far on your, your concept because I love, um, I, I'm not sure what you'd compare it to, but maybe like some of these pizza places like Blaze or Mod Pizza or Chipotle even, where you go up to the counter, you, you build your base and then you add all these toppings. Um, it seems to be very popular these days, but I love that you're doing that in, an, in a healthy environment. Thank you. Yes. So that, the key for us is to answer, it doesn't taste good. And my biggest pet peeve when I go to a healthier restaurant and I choose something off the menu is I want to customize it. But all of a sudden, what was a $9 or $8 item with all my customizations ends up costing me 13 or $14, which I'll pay, but I just won't eat it every day. Yeah. It's, it's beyond that price point that becomes an everyday item, and it becomes a once-a-time, once in the t- one. It becomes a once-in-a-while uh, item. Yeah, and sure. So ultimately, I wanted to I wanted to make it available to everybody, everable for everybody, and available to you as often as possible. Um, so that's why we went with the create your own customization, much like those store, uh, restaurants you mentioned. Um, they all provide you the ability to to have it your way. And I think in today's world, especially with the with the access to internet and social media, we want what we want and we know what we want. So my goal in Everbowl is to be a conduit to get you healthy, eating healthy. And so if you like these ingredients, I want you to pick them. I want to put them on your bowl, and I'm happy to sell it to you at the same price. I love it. How would you come up with the base ingredients? I mean, look, we're all familiar with acai by now. I've got some in my freezer. But uh, you know, how, what about the other ones? I've never heard of them, and obviously there's some value there. Um, how would you come up with that? Yeah, so my, my passion has been – healthy eating and healthy living. And so I've been importing superfoods into my home for the better part of a decade, um, eating exotic superfoods that have so much of this nutritional element or this nutritional element or can prevent this illness or can help my body do this. And so since I'm a superfoodie by, by nature, that's just who I am. I've been exploring these and learning about them for so long that when I started Everbowl, I also wanted to introduce, I didn't want to just take um, acai, which at the time was very common or becoming very common, and just be an acai shop, I really wanted to introduce people to all other types of superfoods. So if you don't like acai or you had it yesterday and you're not in the mood for it two days in a row, I wanted to show you other options you could have that are going to give you that same nutritional powerhouse, uh, same nutritional value and be a nutritional powerhouse um, and, and create a new lifestyle for you when you have more options because you don't always want to eat the same thing every day. So having more options will give you more opportunities to say, I'm going to make this healthy choice today. I'm going to make this healthy choice tomorrow. And I'm not going to feel like I'm eating the same salad every single day. Yeah. Jeff, you know, I, I'm a firm believer in exactly what you said. You know, you, you go into some places, you you know, your your $9 item becomes a $14 item because you're getting what you want, you know, because you're adding on healthy ingredients. There's a couple of those protein drink uh, places that I like to go to, but I don't want to spend $13 for my lunch and drink it. You know, I want to, <laughs> I want to eat it with a spoon or something at least. Um how, how have you managed to make it affordable, not only for the consumer, but for you guys to make money? Yeah, great question. So looking at it from a, 
from a business standpoint, because in order for us to be successful in our mission, uh, we need to have a sustainable and successful company. And so um, started an import business called Real Happy Foods, where we bring in and source the best high quality superfoods and really try to limit the middlemen in between us and the sourcing. Mm-hmm. So I can bring down the cost and in exchange, return that savings to my customer. Um, secondarily, what we've done operationally is we created a, our own commissary where we were able to procure everything in bulk. And so by opening a lot of stores and procuring it to a single location, um, I was able to, to reduce my cost of goods and, and, again, drive that savings back to the customer. Hmm. I like it. So uh, let, let me ask you this. You're, you're growing your locations. Uh, you're up to 19, right? Is that what the number was? Yeah, we, op- uh, we just opened number 19, and number 20 will open next week. Uh, are these franchise locations or are company-owned, or how are you structuring this? No. Nope. Company, uh, we own them all currently. Uh, we don't franchise. Um, we get a lot of requests, and we're entertaining it. But at this point, I don't like winners and losers, and I don't want to just franchise like everybody else and put us in a position where some people are going to be successful and others aren't. And, and me, of course, as the franchisor, I'll be successful, but that's not the type of environment we want. So mm-hmm. if we can't do an offering that we're comfortable makes everybody successful – um, we don't want to do it, and we have a saying, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. And so uh, we're in that process of figuring out and how we can disrupt the franchise model to, to provide and make Everbowl accessible for franchisees, but in a way that makes makes us really feel comfortable that they're going to be successful. Mm-hmm. So what's your long-term plans for the company? I mean, obviously, uh, the number of locations you're at already is very impressive. Uh, looks like you've got a great infrastructure. What's the long-term goal? So our long-term goal is to, is to grow Everbowl into an international brand. We believe it can be uh, a brand that not only provides quick-serve restaurant access to superfoods, but also a line of CPG products. Um, we just came out with our very first consumer package product this week. Um, it's now available for sale both on our new website, superfuelcoffee.com and Amazon. Um, and what it is is it's the world's first superfood-infused coffee line. Um, all four of our flavors today are acai-infused coffees. We have two Guatemalan varieties and two Colombian varieties, and they all have acai, and then each flavor has a couple other superfoods that provide different nutritional value. Um, Looking at, again, how can I make and give people access to superfoods and integrate it into their daily habits? Getting them to come into an Everbowl is one thing, but as you said, right now there's not a store by you. So how can I help? And so the way we look at it is coffee is consumed by a very high percentage of of American adults. Uh, We drink coffee every day, but we don't always eat superfoods. So why not combine superfoods into your coffee and get your antioxidants and your superfoods with that cup of coffee in the morning or in the afternoon? And so we've created biodegradable uh, biodegradable K-pods that we sell, and now we have the ability to provide antioxidants and superfoods into more consumers' hands and into their habits without them having to change much from what they're doing. I love it. Well, I uh, as an athlete, I'm always trying to cut weight so I can be a little bit faster out on the course. So I tend to up my coffee intake as I'm eating less. So I know if I can get some uh, some of these superfoods in my coffee, I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's that's and, and the beauty is you don't have to do anything different, right? You're going to drink the coffee anyway. I drink two to three cups a day. Um, ever since we created Super Fuel, I've been drinking that. And I honestly, I I mean maybe it, maybe there, there's not if some of it might be psychosomatic, but I feel better knowing that I'm getting more antioxidants and more health nutrition and more function from those from that cup of coffee than I was before. It's not just the caffeine rush anymore. It's actually also now providing me nutrition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing I want to dip back to, because, uh, you know, as I'm reflecting on it, the fact that you keep your cost down because you created an import company for some of these super foods is very impressive. You didn't just go buy what was off the shelf and put it in your restaurants or whatever Cisco Foods was carrying. You, you're sourcing stuff. And I think often people uh, drop the ball short of their ultimate goal. And clearly that's not the case with you. Um, so, Jeff, it seems like you've got an import company where you're bringing in the supplies as well as you have your have Everbowl. Are you, are you running two companies parallel? Are these separate entities? Is there more opportunities with the import company? Or how is that structured for you? Uh, yeah, so... Funny enough, it's actually an uh, Everbold is the parent, and under Everbold, we have actually have a handful of companies. So, in addition to the import business, uh, we started a company called We Build, and We Build is our fabrication and installation department for all of our stores. Mm-hmm. Uh, the name of that company is We Build Stuff LLC, and the idea is a vertical supply chain and an integrated model that allows us to again build our stores for less, import products for 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 less, and, and allow us to open more units and get 
cost savings back to our customers. So the way it's structured is the parent is Everbowl, and, and then Everbowl owns a handful of entities that all go into supporting itself. Um, so the long-term plan is to, is to basically build this foundational platform that allows Everbowl to introduce quality superfoods. Well, Jeff, look, you know, it seems like you've got a lot going on. I'm so impressed with your business model. Um, I could probably talk to you for the rest of the day because of all these little things. I mean, there's way more than meets the eye with you. Um, where, where can people find you and, and learn more about your, your experiences, yourself, or, or Everbowl? What's the best way to get a hold of you and look, look you up? Yeah, sure. Um, our Instagram is at Everbowl Craft Superfood. Uh, mine is at Fenster Jeff. And from there, um, you can obviously see what we're doing on a, on a more regular basis. Um, also can connect with us on Facebook or LinkedIn and, and definitely look forward to making friends with everybody and continuing to expand and look forward to seeing an Everbowl and meeting you at an Everbowl near you. Yeah, but I, I see that you've got a lot of locations in the San Diego area and I'm down there quite a bit. You can, I can promise you I will be hitting your locations up because again, like I said in the beginning of the show, your, your food looks fabulous. The options look incredible. And after hearing your story and how you started the company, I would love nothing more than to support you, and I hope one day you get to the Inland Empire. I'm up in Upland, off a mountain. There's a great little location that's open on the corner, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, I, I just love your we're story. Close. We're coming that way. Well, perfect. We're close. We're working our way up there. Perfect. Well, um, you know, that, that's the problem with success. Everybody wants you. I lived that when I was at In-N-Out, and uh, you're going to live it with Everbowl because I can see that you've got the chops to make it, and uh, I just want to congratulate you on your success. Um, we look forward to stopping thank, into thank one of your you stores. So yeah, our, our pleasure. Thank, thanks again, Jim, and I really appreciate the time, and, and I love your show, and um, I can't wait to uh, to continue to follow all of the other great people you bring on, and, and I love the Baja series and everything you're doing, so thank you for continuing to, to promote the right kind of mindset and helping people feel good about, about the choices they're making and say yes to life, and that is the answer, and so thank you. Yeah, thanks for saying that. It means a lot to me. Okay, we'll we'll see you around town. Well, another great show and an incredible guest. You know, there's so many layers to Jeff. I, you know, I, I could imagine if I spent more time with him on the phone and made this a two-hour show or one of those four-hour Joe Rogan shows, we'd continue to unpeel that that onion because Jeff and his life is just so full of abundance and he practices that. You know, we have the commonality of David Meltzer. And by the way, if you're not listening to David Meltzer's podcast, um, I highly re- recommend it because, uh, it, you know, a lot of people tell me that they like my show because it's positive, and um, I do appreciate those compliments. And David's show uh, is called The Playbook, David Meltzer, The Playbook. Very positive, and although it's centered around athletes that he interviews, it's still about business and in life, and I've been... Uh, binge listening, if you will, to his shows to kind of catch up. I missed, a, I guess it's called a season's worth. And um, I've just really enjoyed hearing the stories on there. So, you know, David talks about living a life of abundance, giving five times your value up front, and it'll come back to you tenfold. And that's what I've been practicing the last year. And I cannot tell you how much that works. If you're not living a life of abundance and trying to deliver five times the value to your friends, your family, your employer, and and everything you're doing, you're missing out on an opportunity to receive that back 10 times the value. And uh, now that I've been practicing that seriously for a year in my mindset, you know, waking up in the morning, writing down the things that I'm grateful for, the things that I have more than enough of, and looking at that and going and approaching my day with that in my mind, um, I, you know, I can tell you those things honestly work. And, um, I want to thank a few people that reached out this week, uh, looking for some help or some life coaching. I, I, I love getting those calls. I love helping and I'm glad that I'm here for you. And, um, I look forward to working with those clients and, um, you know, getting them to the next phase in their life. So listen, I really appreciate everybody listening to the show. Please share this if you've enjoyed it, if the message resonates with you, if not reach out to me and tell me, you know, it, this sucks, but uh, we'll we'll try our hardest not to suck and, and continue to bring great content. Again, I apologize that this show turned into a Friday show instead of a Wednesday show. I've got more interviews lined up so we can get back on schedule. So I know I've got a couple of Wednesday regulars. Richard, I know you're listening. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't get this out on time for your Wednesday morning coffee, but uh, maybe it'll be Friday evening wine. Um, live a life of abundance as I always say what you believe is what you will achieve, and it is so true. 
I know I'm living my best life, and it just keeps getting better. So thank you. Uh, look forward to delivering a great show next week.